Using your Impact LX with Reason will help you work quickly and more efficiently than using a mouse. Let's start by controlling the mixer. When in mixer mode, faders control volume and can be banked in groups of eight. Fader buttons are assigned to mute. You can also solo by holding down fader button nine and pushing the button for the track you want. Pretty easy. Master volume will always be controlled by fader nine in mixer mode. Panning is controlled by the rotary encoders. So dialing in your mix with the LX is easy to do. But I want to work with that short delay lead just a little bit more. So let's set a new looping point. I can use the fast forward and rewind buttons to quickly set my loop starting point. There, pretty much ready to go now. So let's take that short delayed lead and kind of tweak the delay a little bit. Let's just solo it and bring up the volume a little bit so we can hear what we're doing. Okay, so let's select that delay track. I'll hit the instrument button to make sure that I'm in control of the delay and not the mixer. All instruments and effects units are intelligently mapped to the LX. That sounds about right. We'll keep it there. Perfect. Back in the mix again. So far we've been controlling the mixer and audio effects, but let's start to work with some of the instruments. For this example, we'll use Subtractor. Once again, all the controls will be intelligently mapped. You'll have quick access to things like frequency cutoff and resonance. And the eight faders will control your amp envelope and your filter envelope. Pretty cool. But what if you want to control a different part of Subtractor? Well, we made it easy. Hold down Shift and touch each parameter that you want to map. Now, in the order that you want, touch the controllers that you want them assigned to. And there you go. I told you it was easy. Now remember, this is a temporary assignment. So if I were to switch tracks and then come back again, we're back to our default mapping. Switching a patch for any instrument or effect can be done directly from the board as well. Okay, so let's take a look at a different instrument now. Let's switch over to our track that has Kong on it. The eight trigger pads are automatically mapped out to pads one through eight in Kong. Accessing pads nine through 16 is easy. You just switch pad maps. Hmm, well, but what if I wanna have this tambourine sound play on pad map one instead of pad map two? We can quickly switch that around. I can hit the pad learn button, tap the pad that I wanna edit, then find the sound. Once I've found it, hit pad learn, and there you go. It's been reassigned. That's a huge time saver. But let's do a little bit deeper editing with Kong. I can quickly adjust the volumes of each pad using the corresponding fader. You also have control of things like pitch, decay, and even panning. Nice. To mute individual pads, just push the corresponding button below the fader. The Impact LX is intuitively and intelligently mapped out to reason, so there's no fuss and you can feel like you're in front of an instrument again.